reaction reaches equilibrium. It's interesting to find out if there are more products or more reactants, and we can do that. The basic formula for the equilibrium constant, or KEQ, is products over reactants. But we want to compare concentrations, so we'll use brackets to represent concentration, and actually write in the chemicals as many times as their coefficient. But this gets a bit messy with higher coefficient numbers, so we'll clean it up just like we do in math. A number times itself is the number squared, so we can write the chemical once and put the coefficient as an exponent. So here's the formula for an equilibrium constant expression. In a balanced chemical equation, KEQ is the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of their reactants, where the coefficients are written as exponents. Often, temperature is also written because temperature will affect the equilibrium constant. Different temperatures will have different constants. Because equilibrium constants are calculated with products over reactants, we can interpret the KEQ so that we learn about the equilibrium. If there are more products than reactants, the KEQ will be greater than 1. If there are more reactants than products, the KEQ will be less than 1. Additionally, equilibrium constants do not have a standard SI unit. Because it's a measure of concentration ratios, the unit may not even exist. For the purposes of high school level calculations in chemistry, we will omit the units of equilibrium constants. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.